Should Antifa be labeled a terrorist organization? A lot of people saying yes these days. Some people saying no. Jesse Waters of the Five on Fox News of all places is saying no that they should not. The other day he was saying that he doesn't think it would be fair or right to give the government the power to label Antifa a terrorist organization. Take a look. I, I, I kind of disagree. I, I would say I don't want them labeled a uh, domestic okay. terror group. I, I think it gives the federal government too much authority over American citizens to infiltrate them and surveil them. And they've never killed anybody. Uh, the Bloods and the Crips, I mean, they've done much more damage uh, and killed many more people. Uh, white nationalists, neo-Nazis killed many more people, right. much more dangerous. They're not designated like that. It literally is a bunch of pale white kids living in their parents' basement. <laughs> yes. They can't throw a punch. They threw well, a they few yeah, they can certainly hide I mean, because they've, they've not made any arrests, Juan. Well, I mean, I would agree. It's because the people in these municipalities don't charge them, and the police have a very hands-off approach but, Okay, can I just add, t- before you go to Juan, isn't it interesting that these guys don't pull this crap in, in New York or Boston or Chicago? It's only in Portland, which leads me to think it's like 50 people. Yeah, it's, it's not like this international network of people yeah. that are getting financing. Yeah. It's the just Germans a loose group around the country. Let's turn it over to you, angry. Juan. Now, have Antifa killed anybody? I don't know. I've heard that they have. I've heard that they've had people commit suicide because they were forced to go into things. I've heard they've maybe killed one person. I couldn't name it off the top of my head. I think they're a bunch of losers. Waters raises a good point, though. Are Bloods and the Crips and other street gangs like that terrorist groups? They kill a lot more people, even if it is other gang, gang members. But on the other hand, are they going into cities, centers, getting police help? I guess, sort of, it's sad to say that they keep it in their own streets. People don't care as much because they're not affecting the population as a whole, just people in their streets. Sad to say. Now, the problem I see with Antifa is there's no prosecution of any of these people. Now, there, there have been arrests at previous events, of course, but not on the major, pro, the high-profile ones there have not been. Stand-downs in Portland. Police told that the mayor said not to do anything. Attacking people everywhere. The Crips aren't going into Hollywood and beating up people for wearing Trump hats. Uh, they're not going to people's homes and harassing them. They're not doxing people. You're not seeing uh, Beverly Hills Crips doxing people on Twitter. They're doing more, vi- more violent things. So should they be labeled domestic terrorists? Now, the mother of all uh, political violence, as they call it, Charlottesville, it still boggles my mind when people consider it the end-all, be-all political violence. It's the It's the showcase of white nationalism. Yes, somebody died, and that's horrible. But essentially what you had was two sides of extremism battling it out. Essentially Antifa versus white nationalists. It wasn't even that many of them. That's the thing. It was like 200 people, the not our soil or you will not replace us. Something reminded me of he will not divide us. (laughs) So uh, one person from Antifa died there. And yes, it's horrible that somebody died. It, it, it honestly is. But if a white nationalist died there, people would be cheering. People would be saying it was great. Nobody would be saying how great it was that the Antifa person died. Now, is that evidence of a huge widespread white nationalism problem? I don't think it is. But they take this one event where something bad happened, and all of a sudden it's the biggest thing ever to have happened. Now you take evidence of Antifa running amok for three plus years, attacking people in the streets. We got bike locks, we got batons, we've got stabbings, we've got beatings, we've got milkshakes, we've got whatever you want to call it. Not whatever you want to call it, whatever you want to point to. But yet they're not a, a, a national problem according to the media. Both are bad, but Antifa is verifiably worse. Not necessarily in their belief, because I think both of the beliefs that they're stupid, but in terms of actual evidence of violence and fascism, (laughs) ironically, they're patently worse. So what do you do? Do you label them terrorists? I don't know. Does support from, from mayors, from social media, from the fact that they're allowed to organize and direct people to harass and dox others, does that play a role in whether we should not whether or not we should label them domestic terrorists. They dox and harass YouTubers, journalists, politicians, all through the help of social media. So rather than label them terrorists, I think a better thing is to crack down on the people that are supporting them because they're supporting crimes. 
even and it's a huge double standard. Twitter will kick off Lindsay Shepard, but uh, Antifa is allowed to organize on Twitter and and say, "Hey, this guy's going here today. Let's uh let's go stop him." Saw that recently for a guy from Operation Coldfront YouTubers. It's it's the great tactic though of constantly claiming what your enemy does. They thrive through media endorsement. They they claim that it's the establishment that they're against. They're, they're against all this fascism, but they're the ones being fascist and getting help from establishment causes. You don't see uh, President Trump up there saying Patriot Prayer is a wonderful group. You don't see him up there saying, I don't know, the Proud Boys are a wonderful group. But you see people in the media saying, oh, Antifa is just fighting fascism. Antifa is not organized, but somehow they have a Twitter account with 20,000 plus followers where they're directing people to shut people up. So let me know what you think. Let me know if you think they should be labeled a terrorist organization from this side of, yes, they're violent and all these other places or all these other groups should be labeled, or you still disagree with them, but you don't think it's right for the government to have the power to label an organization such as this as a domestic terrorist group. Remember, I wouldn't lie to you, except for on Twitter. <laughs>